my first time throwing in this X. Oh, seems pretty smooth. Should be it's twenty-three dollars a spool, two hundred yards. Uh, in my experience, something gets weird around that ten-pound test uh, deal with fluorocarbon. I don't know what it is. You better just spend the money. Look at all that bait. Look at all that bait in the water. Wow. Wow, we got some fish eating too. Breakfast time. Oh wow. Got some real players in here this morning, huh? My goodness, look at you, dude. You were up here pigging out, bro. Look at that hefty dude. That is a nice red-eyed bass right there, you guys. Gorging on bait. Look at that heft. All right. Friggin' lucky crap paying off. Thank you, dude. Get you back in the water here. Awesome. I knew it was our smallmouth friends eating some recouping right there. Boom. Pretty cool, you guys. Pretty cool. Craft LVR. I don't know which one this is. Quarter two. <clears throat> What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, it's springtime. And we got active fish feeding on balls of bait or shoals or whatever you want to call it. Um, 
me, I love this time of year. It happens again in the fall. Uh, and there's a couple of ways that I like to catch them. When you got fish coming from underneath and pinning bait between themselves and the surface, like as you can see in the footage. Um, one way you can do it is with a swim bait. Uh, this is a five inch Kytec on a Berkeley Fusion 19 swim bait head. But the thing is, is that you're gonna have to be able to pull those fish away from a huge ball of actual food towards your bait, right? Sometimes a single swim bait won't do it. So what I can recommend is adding an underspin. Uh, this is the owner, Flashy Swimmer, and these are the Colorado blade. Uh, it just gives off a little more flash. And another thing I would do in that situation is if you have the screw lock, just push the hook up a little bit so it's exposed. You're fishing open water, you're not going to get hung up on anything. And you want a better hookup ratio and landing percentage. Uh, you can also use uh, Bass Tricks, Hollow Body, Paddle Tail are great in the spring. Well, that's a three inch and a thread fin shad. Another way I like to catch them is obviously with a jerk bait. This is a Vision 110 Silent. Uh, not the plus one, just a regular 110. It's only going to get down about four or five foot. And uh, uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep any of the jerk bait footage around or not. But uh, I don't even crank it down to depth. I just, as soon as it hits the water, I just start working it. Because these fish are looking up to feed. They're not going to want, you know, you don't want to fish under them or else you're not going to get bit. And then finally, this morning's player was the Lucky Craft LVR. This is the D7. But I mean, you could throw the 100 and burn it, kill it, burn it, kill it, or yo yo it high in the water column. I think, yeah, the 300s are out, the 150 is back out. So, uh, a lipless is a great way to stay high in the water column and yo-yo and just erratic movements to look like a dying bait fish around those balls of bait when you have active fish in the area. Um, another thing too, guys, is that I wanted to do giveaways every month. And last month, it was just weird as far as number one the, the person that uh won the rod in the youtube random comment generator i never i never was contacted by the that person and number two is i broke the rod you can see now we have a six foot nine uh Abu garcia vengeance that is probably now uh i don't know a five eight or something but yeah I apologize guys so what I want to do is for now since without you guys nothing none of this is happening I want to give you guys one of the hottest baits on the market this is the OG slim 6 designed by odd to flow this bait right here also has upgraded hooks I put on number four Eagle Claw, uh, Fletcher, Shryock, EWGs on it. I put them on all my hard baits. Uh, I use the number four and number sixes. But this bait is up for grabs. And then I think after we pick the winner for this in a week, um, it's going to be probably hashtag send me the reel. I'll probably be giving away my Daiwa Regal LT to somebody. Uh, one of you guys out there uh, awesome subscribers so for now just hashtag send me OG I know I'm a little hard to understand I'm still healing up but hashtag send me OG OG and uh, I'll get this out to you we will pick it a week from today so next Saturday and um yeah, I, I don't know if you guys are going to be too far south for this going on, but pretty much this whole central band of the U.S. right now 
is going to have big balls of bait and active fish that are just coming off the spawn and just ready to eat you know what i mean so now is a good time to really be throwing a lipless anyway and covering water and uh you know just uh get after it and enjoy yourself catch some fish so without that being uh anything else from me um uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode did something a little different here um Ring that notification bell so you'll know when I'm uploading another episode. Get subscribed so you can win. Um, you know, get entered in giveaways and win you some, some cool stuff. I'm going to be giving away some cool stuff. Um, I really appreciate all you guys, all my new subscribers, anybody that's been here from the beginning. Um, you know, without you guys, this is just me talking to a little camera. So, uh... That being said, I hope everyone enjoys their weekend, maybe get some fishing in, and uh, until next time, this is the guy with the GoPro fishing show, out for now.